There's lots of different industry numbers. Epic's a private company, so we don't know for certain. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we do know is that engagement for the game has been extraordinarily high, and, and there has been competitive impact to many of the stocks that we do cover. You know, when we look, take a step back and, and look at the engagement metrics that you highlighted from Twitch and some proprietary data we have, it's certainly remaining to be a very, very large and impactful game. But as you cited, month over month, we, we are seeing some declines. Um, and I would say that that's a welcome sign for, for publishers into what is a very busy holiday season. Evan, I know it's not exactly the same thing, but when the Pokemon craze was going on, it seems like that was <laughs> all we could talk about. Fortnite has been very popular with kids, teens, and folks even beyond that. I mean, isn't this a no is this a normal cycle to have this craze, this frenzy, and then and then have it back down? And if it's normal, is it a bad thing, or can it still be making money for the video game makers there? It, it, there is always a, a somewhat of a life cycle to games. I think this one has significantly more staying power to Pokemon Go. Um, but, you know, kids had to go back to school at some point and, 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 and hopefully they're doing their homework and playing a little bit less games. But at the end of the day, uh, Fortnite remains a very big and impactful game. Uh, I think it will for the foreseeable future. And, and I'm sure Epic Games has a lot of new uh, ideas for the game in store. Um, come this holiday as well. So I would expect so, over time them for them to continue to innovate. Among the public companies that you follow, which do you think has the next potential Fortnite? Yeah, so among the, the companies we cover, probably the best, uh, the best bet along those lines would be Activision Blizzard. Um, so they're going to release Call of Duty Black Ops 4 here in October. There's a lot of hype right now for, for their version of Battle Royale. It's called Blackout. Um, there were, were uh, you know, it was a significant uptick in streaming hours uh, last week for the beta. You saw popular streamers like Ninja and Shroud enjoying the game as well. So I think the investor sentiment uh, mm -hmm. that, that, that Activision can have a meaningful competitive response this holiday season and take back some of that engagement that they lost is, is, is right. Evan, speaking of the holiday season, PlayStation is going to release a classic version like we've seen Nintendo do over the last several seasons. It comes preloaded, though, with games. So what does that mean for the video game makers? You know, probably not a lot for, um, for the companies we cover. I'm sure that it will be some, some nice business for Sony. Uh, it's it's a it's a nice blast of nostalgia for for myself and, and many people that were that were playing the PlayStation One, and I'm sure it will sell very well. But in terms of of driving upside to our expectations for the holiday, it's, I I don't expect that that's a big needle mover.